Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maria. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to turn a straight waistband into a curved waistband. Let's get into this. The first thing we will do is get our skirt pattern. I made a video on how to draft a skirt. I will leave the link in the description below. So this skirt pattern was fitted on my dress form and you're going to notice that the front and back has two different measurements. That's because my dress form's back is smaller than the front and most of the time it's like that on humans. So if you're drafting a skirt on paper and dividing the waist by four, just remember we are not equal on the front and back of our bodies. So always do a fitting to see how much smaller the back is than the front. As you can see, the measurement for the front is eight and one fourth, and the measurement for the back is seven and three eighths. Eight and one fourth plus seven and three eighths equals 15 and five eighths. But remember, that's just one side of the body. Since it's just one side, we need the other side. So we have to multiply 15 and 5 eighths by 2. 15 and 5 eighths by 2 is 31 and 1 fourth. After that, add the seam allowance for the zipper. I usually use 1 inch. The total will be 32 and 1 fourth. Next is the straight high waistband. First, I will put a line that is 32 and 1 fourth. I want the width of the waistband to be 2 inches and it's going to be on fold. So the total will be four inches wide. I will make the waistband four inches wide and 32 and a quarter inches long. Since it will be on fold, I will make a line between the fold with this two inch wide ruler. Then mark the half inch seam allowance inside the rectangular box. Next, mark the back measurement here. For me, it will be seven and three eighths. From there, I will mark the front and that is eight and one fourth. Mark that here. This becomes your center front. From your center front, mark the front, which is eight and one fourth. And then what's left will be your back. The reason why we mark the front and back is to know where the side seams are. Most of the time you will find a straight waistband on ready to wear clothing. For an example, I made a circle skirt in a previous video. The skirt waist is 31 and 1 fourth. It's made or ready, but let's say it's in your size and you liked it. So you bought it from me. When you received it in the mail, you tried it on and it fits good, but the top has a gap of one inch. So to fix the problem, all you have to do is sew the extra fabric into two darts to make the top of the waistband tighter. Then you're good to go. However, let's say you wanna buy the skirt, but your waist is 28 inches then that means I will be making a custom made skirt to fit you. You will have to come in so I can take your measurements. I always start off with a straight waistband so I can see if you have any extra fabric on top of the waist. If you do have extra fabric on top, I will pinch in the fabric and that's when it becomes a curved waistband. Now let me show you two formulas on how to turn a straight waistband into a curved waistband. Let's go guys. This formula will be for someone that has a waist gap of one inch. So here I have the 31 and 1 fourth inch long and two inch wide waistband. This has no seam allowance around it. We're going to make the top slightly curved because it's only one inch we need to take out. And we're going to do it in quarter inch increments over four spaces on the waistband. So we will divide it by five to get the four spaces. So if we divide it by four, we will have three spaces and that's not going to make the curve look smooth. So we will divide 31 and 1 fourth by five and that would equal six and 1 fourth. I'm going to mark six and 1 fourth on the waistband. It's going to be five of them. That's because six and 1 fourth times five equals 31 and 1 fourth. When you finish marking your amount, you will notice that you have four lines which are the four spaces I had mentioned earlier. Next, we're going to divide the one inch gap equally. So since we have four lines, we will divide the one inch into four and that equals one fourth. I'm going to mark one fourth here and one fourth over here so that the curve can go this way. And for the other side, I will mark one fourth here and one fourth over here so that this curve can go this way. After that, we will slash and spread the four lines. That means we will cut the lines, but not through the lines. 
Then from there, put the corner of this line on top of the 1 4th mark right here and tape it like this. As you can see, we now have a curved waistband. Look how smooth the curve is. Let me show you the final results for taking in one inch. Then I will show you another formula that you're going to love even more. Here is the result for taking in one inch on top of the waistband. The extra fabric is gone and it fits classy perfectly. Use this formula for someone that has a one inch gap. But what if you have a client with a two inch gap? Well, here's a formula you can use. This formula will have more lines to slash and spread. That's because this time we have to take in two inches and that's a big gap. So the trick is the more points to slash and spread, the more smoother the curve will be. In this formula, we will make 16 lines and each line we will take out one eighth. If you multiply one eighth times 16, it will equal two inches. The first thing you should do is fold the waistband in half. That's going to be your center front. Since we have 16 lines, we will start from the center front and put eight lines on one side of the waistband. After that, put eight lines on the other side of the waistband. That will be a total of 16 points. Next up, we're going to start marking the 1 8 So on this side, put 1 8 here, 1 8 here, and so on. On the other side, put one eighth here, one eighth here, and so on. That's going to make the curve go this way and that way. After that, we're going to do the slash and spread method. When you get to the center front, do not cut it. Then take each side of the corners and put it on the 1 8 marks like this. Look how smooth the curve looks. The bottom stays 31 and 1 fourth, but the top changes. The top is now 29 and 1 fourth. That's because you took in two inches. Now you can put your seam allowance and write your information on the waistband. If this video was helpful, let me know by clicking the like button. And if you want to check out how to make this 720 circle skirt, then click or tap on the screen right here and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to practice, practice, practice. Bye, everybody.